Hi, this is Miss Bishop. We're going to I'm going to draw you the notes for the the nitrogen cycle. Oh, let me get that focus for you. Focus. There we go. So, our biological filter for our fish tank is actually part of the nitrogen cycle of our fish tank. So they kind of go together. Uh, one uh, in nature in nature, the nitrogen cycle is a circle. It is a complete cycle. There, um, things get recycled just like everything else on the planet. Every element gets reused over and over again. And they change form and they move, but they do get reused. Now, nitrogen in our, in our tank is, is no different except for it's not a complete cycle, so we have a dead end here. So first we have to ask ourselves, how does the nitrogen get into our fish tank? Well, I'm going to draw my little handy dandy fish here, and he's going to poop and pee. So we have, I know it's not technical, but you know what poop and pee is. All right. Another way for the bacteria to get in, in, I'm sorry, the nitrogen to get into the tank is from decomposition. And it's decomposition of almost anything. Okay. Either way. But a lot of times it's um, from overfeeding. So if you overfeed your fish, you're actually making more work for yourself. So don't do that. Anyway, so the animal poops and pees or we have too much decomposition going in, in the fish tank. So what happens is when they urinate, just like when we urinate, there is ammonia in it. Now ammonia, we're gonna, we are have to know the chemical symbols, okay, is NH3. And NH3 has, for those of you who didn't have chemistry, the N is nitrogen. Okay, so it has nitrogen in it. And ammonia is a pretty nasty little chemical. If you have to live in it, it's going to kill you. It's, uh, I'm going to label this the most toxic of the nitrogen compounds we're going to talk about. Um, the animals will die from this that, that are in the fish tank. They just can't, they cannot handle ammonia. It may not kill them immediately, but it will kill them. Now, luckily for us, there are things in nature that think that, that ammonia is delicious and not in a, it, toxic. We don't care. We want to eat it. And of course, they don't really eat it, but they do ingest it. We have two bacteria that you've heard of before. They're part of your biological filter is Nitrosomonas. Let me put bacteria up here so you remember what that is. Nitrosomonas will ingest ammonia. It'll use NH3 in its body, and when it's done with what it needs to do with it, it excretes another nitrogen product called nitrite. Is NO2. Okay? Now, nitrite, like ammonia, still has the nitrogen in it, right? So when I say nitrogen compound, I'm talking about both of them, right? But nitrite is still toxic, but it's less toxic, th toxic than ammonia. So we're going to put less toxic here. So we really don't want nitrite in the tank either, but we really, uh, but because it is still nasty. It will kill the animals, and uh, not as quickly as ammonia, but it still kills them. But luckily, there's another bacteria that takes care of that, and you've heard of that one before. Also part of your biological filter is nitrobacter. Okay. So nitrobacter thinks nitrite is awesome. It ingests it, and then excretes one, uh, another nitrogen compound called nitrate. But be careful with these two words. The only thing different about them, and of course, is the letter I and A are switched. Uh, the chemical symbol for nitrate is NO3. All right. Still a nitrogen compound. Still got an N in there, right? Now, this is the least toxic of these three chemicals. Now, nitrate can become toxic. If it, be, I mean, it, well, it will kill the fish. It is toxic. It, but it has to be in quantities quantities greater than 40 parts per million, we have to do water change. Okay. okay, that's bad. So we'll put this too much. So how do we get rid of it? We're going to do a water change. And is it, so we have to physically remove this. So we're going to physically remove the nitrate by doing a partial water change. That's an R. And a partial water change is exactly what it sounds like. You're taking out a, a quarter of, of your, your tank water and replacing it with clean water. So you're taking out, uh, say it's a 20 gallon tank, you'll remove five gallons, you'll dump it in the sink, 
get five clean gallons and, and fill, refill your tank. Now, if it's a saltwater aquarium, you do have to add salt to that before you add it back to the tank or you'll, your fish will not be happy. Uh, they may die from that instead of, instead of the nitrate. Okay, so the big question we haven't answered here, uh, we know that the, that the nitrate comes from decomposition and, and, and animal waste, right? And we know that our nitrous and nitrobacter can change the, the nitrogen's form into less and less toxic forms, right? But how do we get it in the fish tank? Well, there's two ways to do it. You can get bacteria in the tank. I'm going to write that down here. Bacteria in tank. In tank how? One, you can buy it. You can buy it from Petco or PetSmart, and that's fine, except for if you have, like, like I have 35 of these fish tanks. There's no way I can afford that. That's too much because it's about 20 bucks, and that's just a lot of money. Anyway, so we're not going to do that. Another way to do it is to introduce what we call a hardy species. I don't think anybody uses the word hardy anymore like this anyway. What hardy means is it's hard to kill, all right? They can take a lot of abuse and still keep on trucking, all right? And we're going to introduce a hermit crab. Now, you say, why, why a hermit crab? It's not just any her hermit crab, okay? These are hermit crabs from Galveston and Texas City, so they're ocean hermit crabs. Now, we, you can go pick up, they're the ones you pick up at the beach, right? But this bacteria, the nitrosomosis and nitrobacter, I like to adhere to surfaces, right? Like all bacteria, like um, I told you earlier, they like to attach to, the, attach to the gravel. Well, they also like to attach to the hermit crab shell and all of the hermit crab body. So hermit crabs, not only are they hard to kill, but they also have the nitrosomonas nitrobacter all over their body and all over the inside and outside of their shell. So they're the cheaper, better way to introduce these two, these two um, bacteria to your tank. And they're actually kind of cute and fun once you get used to them. Because sometimes they act a little creepy. Anyway, this is your nitrogen cycle of your fish tank. Let's put this on the bottom. Oh, gosh, my hand running is terrible. <laughs> nitrogen cycle of aquarium and this is part of this is part of your biological filter um, part of ah again bottom of the paper okay that's it if you have any questions for me you can uh, always text me or email me um, or you can ask me a question in class uh, all of that will work. If, uh, thanks for your time, and I'll see you later.